Hello friends, welcome back. So I just returned from Fab Fluid Art Boutique and I wanted to show off a couple of paintings I did. These were the two paintings that I felt I was most successful at and they're both newer techniques for me. So this was something I did in Michelle Galley's class. This is a cloud pearl pour and I've done pearl pours before but this adds a new element and I'm going to link a video to that and at some point I'm going to do one of these as well for you guys. And then this one is a blowout and spin that I did with uh, Erica Hughes and I'm really really happy with that. I don't know if you can see all the fun details but for today's collaboration video, I decided I'm going to attempt to do another one of these. So I'm going to bring you down, show you my colors, set up my work area, and we'll be right back. Here are my colors. Everything is mixed with Mix Pour. The base color here is Rustoleum's Seashell mixed with a little bit of unbleached titanium from Amsterdam, I believe, and a little, little dab of um, Deco Art Satin Enamel. And then this pretty color here, let me see if I can make that show up on camera. That is rose gold and a little bit of champagne gold. Make a really soft, pretty color. And then I have Harbor Sky from Modern Masters or rest I am I can I get confused sometimes and that's just a lovely shimmery soft color this is Golden's Alizarian Crimson and also Golden's Permanent Deep Violet to make this really pretty kind of dark violet color this is Golden's iridescent gold. This is a, just a gorgeous color and it's also nice when you want a gold that doesn't sell a lot. It's perfect. And then this is Golden's Payne's Gray mixed with a little bit of Prussian Blue just to get it a little more blue. And that's it. So one of the main reasons I decided to do this type of painting is because I picked up this fun new toy while I was at the Fluid Art Boutique. And this is a spinner from Erica Hughes. And I am just in love with it. It's really well made. It's a great spinner. Um, I love the fact that you can go really big on this. This is a, you can go up to a 36 inch canvas with this, which I think is just phenomenal because you all know I love my big canvases. So I, and it breaks down really easily for storage. So all of this comes apart. There we go. So I am going to um, bring up my canvas. So uh, this is a 24 by 24. And I've just painted my edges with a little bit of the uh, unbleached titanium. So I'm going to get this set up. I'm going to make sure it's centered. These little, oh, there we go. These little nubbies slide in so that it keeps the canvas stable, okay? So Pooh, I thought that the video was recording, but it obviously wasn't. So what I have so far is I put my base coat down fairly thin, then I poured a little puddle of the same base coat in the middle so I had something to blow into and right now I've put down Payne's Gray, Harbor Sky, my Violet Mix, Payne's Gray, and Rose Gold. I'm a little off center there. There we go. So then I think uh, I'm going to put just a tiny bit more of the Violet Mix. And then I'm going to I 
think I'm gonna sprinkle my iridescent gold kind of all over the place because that is a gorgeous color and I want it to kind of come out in different layers. There we go. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit of the base coat in the center, just for contrast. Okay. So wish me luck here. I have my hair dryer and when I very first started working with fluid art, I had attempted some Dutch blows, Dutch pours. They didn't go amazing. So uh, this is the first one I've done since the class and whew, nervous. So I have this set on cool and I'm gonna try it on low first, but I might turn it up to high. I'm a long, long way from home It's a long, long road I'm on And the angels hear me cry They sing me a lullaby A lullaby There's a picture So that is really pretty. I am loving this. And man, I, I tell you, I think I'm gonna be using this spinner a lot more, not just on this type of flow or type of pour, but just in general. It's so nice to be able to turn this as you need it. So I, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'm just gonna do one little thing there. I can't wait to bring you guys in and show you some of the details here, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a little bit of a spin. Actually, I think I might tilt this just a little bit so the weight's more in the center. There we go. There we go. Okay, so here we go. A little spin. Ah, uh, yeah, this is so cool and so much fun. Uh, okay, one more tiny spin. I'd like to get this out just a little bit more. The center is kind of bugging me. I think I'm going to, so I'm going to attempt to just kind of swish up some paper towel here and I'm going to try and dip this and hopefully I don't mess up the whole thing. I just want to expose a little more of that center color. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, 
so I'm gonna spin this the opposite direction. I think that's it. I'm gonna clean up the edges and then I'll bring you down and show you the details because this is just gorgeous. And one other thing, I want you to notice, one of the things I like about this spinner too is it's very low profile. It's, it's only sitting maybe uh, an inch off the table, a little bit less I think. So even with spinning this big canvas, I don't have paint flinging everywhere. It's, it's staying pretty much right within the circumference of these uh, arms, just a little bit further out. So I think even if you have a little bit of a smaller space, this is a really, really good um, investment. So I, uh, yeah, I'll bring you in. And I really love this. Okay. And just one more little spin here. <laughs> because I really love this thing. And I don't want to sound like an infomercial, but I do really, really love this spinner. And I also just want to say, if you have not had the opportunity to do one of the Fluid Art Boutiques, this is an amazing experience. It Not only do you have these phenomenal teachers coming together, but they do it in great locations and you get to be around a lot of like-minded people, which is, is really fun. So if you haven't done it, think about doing it. And uh, thank you so much for joining me here. Okay, here we are with the wet walk through. It's a little windy, so I hope you can hear me okay. I am incredibly happy with how this turned out. There are so many gorgeous details, the lacing, I love the little bit of shimmer I get from the metallics. I even really like how this center turned out where I had to mop a little bit of the excess white off. All in all, I think this is just a stunning painting. I love how the edges came out. Yeah, I can't wait to play more with my spinner from Erica. And uh, yeah, I will show you guys more. Thank you for sticking around.